welcome to another episode. Uh, well, not really an episode, more of a preview, I should say. Um, I ordered some new parts for a new build to replace Wonderland, which is my server that I currently run pretty much everything off of. And I need something stronger that can handle it. So Wonderland is up for sale. I'm just hoping to have this built before Wonderland actually gets sold, but if not, oh well. So I'm going to begin by unboxing things and go from there. And hopefully you can see me. Uh, yeah, because I can't see myself, but whatever. So first off, uh, let's see here. I ordered a dual NIC card, network interface card, that is going to go inside of the new Wonderland, or whatever I decide to call it. Um, the reason why I bought a dual NIC card is because I'm going to run PF Sense on this new box, and it's going to be my router. And depending on how things go, I may need this one because this one may be too long for the chassis that I'm going to use, which should be here pretty soon, but not yet. And of course, the Intel drivers. I don't know how compatible this is, but we'll find out. Now given that my information is on this next thing, I'm going to try to hide it as best as I can. So, let me open it up off of camera for a second. And bottom, or top and bottom boxes both have my info. So I'm going to push that one off to the side. And I'm going to open this one up. Open up. I'm not even sure that this is actually part of my build, but we're going to But we're going to find out. Oh, this is a... Uh, Several things. Oh, it is. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> Several different things. Put that up there. So, this is DDR3. Yes, I know it's not the newest, but this is DDR3 RAM. It's 8 gigabyte sticks each, so a total of 16. Uh, this is DDR3 1600, and it's what's going to be going on the new board as soon as I get it. Now we have the power supply. This is a 450 watt power supply, non modular. So it does not have like it does not have modular cables, meaning that these cables are what they are. There's no disconnect on them. It's probably the quietest one I could find for the price I did. I'm hoping that this will be enough to power the new Wonderland or whatever we're gonna call it. But I can actually already tell that I'm not gonna have enough connectors on this because I'm gonna be running anywhere from six to eight drives. But it'll have to do for now because it does have three to start, so my SSD will go here, my first hard drive will go there, and then eventually an expansion drive for RAID backup. And then if I need to, I can configure these two with uh, converters that will allow me to have more SATAs even though that's run upon. Uh, I got my 24 pin, I got my Intel video uh, power Actually, my, uh, I should say, my video power connector. And then this is a really lightweight uh, power supply. So that should work out very decently for this new server build. And next up, oh, it also comes with a uh, power adapter. I should say a power cord. So we'll put that away. this up. So this is the Barracuda 335. So this is the uh, new 3 terabyte hard drive I bought. Uh, I had to buy a new hard drive because I need places to store the stuff because I'm running out of the drive space on the end that I have. Plus since it's up for sale that drive has to go with it. But 
This is a Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte hard drive, 3 terabytes give or take. It's probably 2.83 if I'm not mistaken, but it's bigger than the current one that I have, so that's perfect. We'll put that back in and open up the last box. going to be off camera because it's got my info on it. Which helps open with the right side. saying why did I go with this? Well, I plan on putting an E5 Xeon into it. An E5 Xeon is a server grade motherboard. Therefore, I can run a server grade processor in it. I'm still waiting on that part. Matter of fact, that may be the only part aside from the chassis that I'm waiting on. So, as we take this out, you will see four DIMM slots, DDR3. These are RAID capable, I believe SATA 3 and SATA 2, but I'm not positive on that. They may all be SATA 3. Uh, this is a Z, or I'm uh, sorry, a X79Z B, which is exactly what I need to run this processor, motherboard. By A brand I don't know who it is. I actually really don't know who this is. But it's supposed to work really well and we'll find out. This is a high-end motherboard X79 so we'll find out how well this works. But the reason why I got this one is because it supports the 8 core 12 thread, I believe it is, processor. That's an Intel Xeon E5, and I forget what the other numbers are off the top of my head, but it is supported by this, and it will be excessively more powerful than what Wonderland is, and it will be more powerful, well, yeah, it will be more powerful than what the Odyssey is, because the Odyssey is an outdated uh, machine by several years, and it'll fit right into this socket, and it's got USB 3.0 on it unlike the Odyssey that does not. So I'll be able to run all kinds of things off this. Um, that back down, that onto that, after this goes down apparently. Nope. I have never dealt with server grade uh, builds, so bear with me. this motherboard, we have our PS2 slots, two USB 3, or, yeah, 3, six USB 2s, and a gigabit Ethernet with audio ports that I probably won't be using, but who knows, along with two PCIe slots and a PCI slot. Now, I will be using this, or actually, I believe I'll be using this one for my PCI uh, NIC card. PCIe NIC card, and if I for some reason really, really want to run a basic graphics card in here, I can, but I don't see that happening. So, yeah. Actually, I do see that happening because I just realized this does not have onboard video. So, that changes 
my game up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to run video on this. Anywho, yep, yeah, that is the unboxing of what I've got. So thanks for tuning in and talk to y'all later.